Hi everybody, I'm Terry Windsor and welcome to Info to Know. We've got some interesting movement going on in the southern part of the San Andreas Fault that I think we should take a look at. Okay, so we are at the southernmost part of the San Andreas Fault. This is the USGS earthquake map. And I'm concentrating on this area here. This area has not seen an earthquake in over 320 plus years when the average is 190 to 210 years. So it's quite over its average time. They also found that a part of this area is slipping a heck of a lot faster than they thought and that when the big one comes, if it happens down here, which is what they expect, that there's going to be a 20 to 30 foot change in the ground due to accumulated stress. They thought that this was only moving at 14 millimeters per year. They found that it goes anywhere between 26 and 35 millimeters per year. They think they've centered in on about 22 millimeters. But this area is just full of, of faults that all run into each other. And they've had a heck of a time trying to figure out what's going on and what's happened in the past. They know that they've had the last five earthquakes for an average of 190 years apart from each other. So again, we're way past that. Now they originally thought that the Banning Fault was the one that carried the strain over in this area of the San Andreas. But then they found out that it was not the Banning Fault. It's the Mission Creek Fault that's carrying all this strain. Now the Banning Fault, and this is going to be tricky. Yes, I have noisy dogs in the background. They're not mine. And I think they're gonna fight. Anyways, here is the Banning Fault. Whoops, that's Banning Fault Part A. And that goes right through here, goes through here. Oops. They change, they run into the Gandhi fault down here. And then you go to right here and it picks up the Banning fault B. So it's basically from here, it curves, it goes through here, squiggly here, and it goes to about here. Now up here, is the Mission Creek Fault. And this one is this one is even worse. It starts right here. And by the way, it meets right here with the Mill Creek Fault, right there, right at that little juncture. So the Mission Creek Fault goes here, comes down here, loops right there. Right here is the North American Pacific Plate. And the Mission Creek Fault is the bounding fault for both of these plates. So it comes to right about here, ends right about there. But going back up here, it goes over here. And right here, it meets up with the Mill Creek Fault again. It goes over, go over here, and it hits the Pinto Mountain Fault. Go here, we're at the Mill Creek Fault, Mill Creek Fault, Mill Creek Fault. And right here, it's back to the Mission Creek Fault. Lost it. There, Mill Creek, Mission Creek. If I sneeze, I will lose my place. So that goes up over here, 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 and here. Now I'm going to show you guys what I put together. Figured it was the easiest way to do this. Bear with me a second here. Okay, so what I've got here, this is actually December to uh, February. These are in 60 day increments. Let's open both of these up. This is from December 6th to February 6th. And as you can see, we've got a good cluster going here and up here into, this is actually the uh, Mission Creek fault that it's got all of the clusters here and it's also here but it's also on the whole banning fault too, except for this little tiny strand here. And of course there's a bit, not a whole lot there. When we go to um, February to April, you can see that it's got uh, the same thing pretty much going. It's got less here though, and it's picked up more here down in this area of the banning fault and the San Bernardino Mountains fault. 
but you can still see that it's actually migrated more into the Mission Creek Fault because now it's covering this whole area here. And then this you can see is clustered right here. But if we go to, this is the past 60 days, April 6th to June 6th. You can see that this whole area is now filled in. The entire part of the Mission Creek Fault from here to here is filled in. And the whole Banning Fault is also filled in. The only part of the Mission Creek Fault that doesn't have anything on it is this right here. But all of this is now full. So we have definitely got a migration that has been moving up into the Mission Creek Fault, the fault that they don't want to snap. This is one busy section, but I do believe that we need to watch this because they have also found that little earthquakes cause big earthquakes. These are all microquakes, all of these, and they're deep. They are really deep. And what's, what happens is when you have all these quakes like this, deep like that, and you can see that they're deep, you know, 15, 16, 18 kilometers. There's even one that's, I believe, 26 kilometers in this list somewhere. But when they're deep like that, they're, they're leaving stress at the bottom down there, but they're pushing stress to the top. So anyways, I just wanted to show you guys that, and I think that's something that is going to probably prove to be the place where this snaps. And they think that Yucapa or Yucapa is going to feel the shaking from the big one before anybody else does. Anyways, time will tell. That's about all I have today. Thank you so much for tuning in. This is Terry Windsor from InfoTenos signing off.